Hey guys. Okay, so happy Thursday. Um, I know everybody is going a little bit, well, I shouldn't say everybody. I can't speak for everybody, but some people are a little irritated with the fact um, that they're stuck in the house with the coronavirus. Um, and we all understand why we're in the house, but that doesn't negate um, the feeling of just, you know, uh, being bored. Okay. So I'm just going to come on and talk to you about some things that I'm sorry, guys, I see these little hairs going across my forehead while I'm trying to record and I'm looking at that instead of looking at the camera. Okay. I think I got it. But, um, anyway, Hey, I'm Valerie and I want to talk to you guys about some things that we can do to just kind of encourage ourselves and keep ourselves busy and keep ourselves active. Uh, during this uh, whole situation. I know that they're trying to do um, social distance, um, you know, to keep everyone safe. However, does not stop us from going for walks, okay? And there's a lot of other things we can do even around the house. I have a little note here. So if you see me looking down, that's me trying to remember some of the things that I want to talk about. Um, one of the things that I'm taking out time to do because I've always been so busy working everything is I'm actually taking out the time to do some deep cleaning and some some basically spring cleaning, you know, because we get clutter um, just from Christmas time and just, you know, throughout the year. And, you know, most people do a little spring cleaning because they have an opportunity to kind of, you know, open up the doors and, you know, um, throw things out. The weather's nice. It's not a big deal of going outside and sitting things out on the trash. In the wintertime, you're not trying to do that. But then also healthy eating. This is an opportunity um, to control what you eat. I know there's a lot, of, a lot of memes going across Facebook and things like that saying before Corona, after the shut-in or lockdown or whatever, and it's showing these two different sizes, but we don't have to succumb to that. I'm trying, actually, I know I had mentioned to you guys on my other video that I was trying to do keto. Well, let me just tell you about that. I failed so far. Um, I still don't have it together, um, but I am, believe it or not, I'm still losing weight because a lot of things that I uh, did out of routine as far as like eating potato chips and things like that, just because I was out and about or rushing and things like that, I don't have access to a lot of those things as much. Um, so I'm losing some weight. And that's one of the things I'm trying to do is really just kind of get a plan, get my schedule together uh, so that I can be more effective in doing keto. So that's why I haven't came back on to talk to you guys about that because pff, it was a fail. Okay. So anyway, exercise. Um, now what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to stretch, first of all, um, to stay flexible, uh, to stay fit. Um, so I'm doing, you know, some squats, um, some leg lifts, uh, some planks, some sit-ups, some arm curls, different little things like that because I know a lot of the gyms are closed. So, hey, create your own workout. Um, plus, we want to kind of get it together because, you know, when this is all over, it's going to be springtime and we're going to want to put on some of our uh, best uh, outfits and things like that. So, speaking of that, we want to make sure that we got our toes together, our nails together, our skin together. Um, so, you know, get into doing your facials, your uh, manicures, your pedicures, and you can do this all while you're watching your favorite TV program, you know, um, get get a little little bowl, put some olive oil in it. Uh, you know, you want to warm it up a little bit, not too warm where it burns your, your skin, uh, but, you know, just sit there and soak. You can soak your nails uh, in some olive oil, push those cuticle back, back and, you know, keep those nails all shined up. And at the same time, while you're doing that, Put your feet in some nice water. Now, there's a couple things that you can do to kind of soften up your skin. Um, you can put a little bit of uh, buttermilk and honey in there. That softens up your skin. Um, or you can do Epsom salt. You can do vinegar and water. Uh, all those things will help kind of get your feet tight and right, um, getting ready for the summer. Also, healthy eating. Um, I think that with the store situation, and I don't know about you guys, but by the time I got to the store, most of the food was gone anyway, so that's going to allow me to eat healthier. And this is an opportunity for me to take control of uh, how I've been eating and how I've been treating my body. So basically, right now, it's it's a, it's all about you. You know, self love, self care, um, plan a budget. You know, a lot of us are affected by this, and our money is is funny. Uh, and a lot of us are waiting on a stimulus check from the government, which is a sign that we're not prepared for any type of disasters or situation. So this is a time to assess, okay, 
you know, how am I spending my money? How do I create a budget? So the next time something like this happens, whether it be uh, not the coronavirus, heaven forbid, but I'm just saying any type of uh, a personal situation in which, you know, you're not able to work or uh, you're in between jobs and things like that, you have enough to sustain you and your family. Um, clean your makeup, you know. Um, I noticed that, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something, I got a bonus for you. While you're doing all this, make your kids, clean their rooms and things like that. And I bet you, if you got a daughter, just go in there and your stuff will be in her room, like my daughter. So that'll help you locate all those things that you've been running around trying to figure out where they're at. Um, it's in her room. Uh, everything I buy with makeup, she's at that age where she puts on the makeup and stuff, you know, and I don't get a chance to wear it as much as she do. So uh, she does, excuse me. So I am looking like, where did I do it? Okay, and I'm thinking I lost it, misplaced it or whatever, and then I forget about it. I move on. I go buy another one, look up. Okay, so now I figured out um, she's the culprit. So, you know, if you, if you're, if your kids and you're, you're, uh, are into the makeup thing, I'm sure you can find most of what you're looking for in their, in their room. Um, then also just learn to relax, you know, get a schedule, you know, if you don't want to work, uh, all day, eight hours is a lot. Um, work four hours, you know, um, spend some time getting up later. So you get a little time to rest in so you can rest your body. Um, look at doing a holistic type of uh regimen you know where you're looking at uh whether you need to take more vitamins and minerals and things like that um sit down and this is an opportunity to focus on your dreams and goals of all the things that you've said that you want to do um like me i i you know there's a lot of business things that i've always wanted to do but have been too busy working and things like that and so they're kind of pushing the back burner so i have been taking out the time to try to put together my book notes that I've been uh, working on for quite a while, trying to scramble and put them all back together and trying to see if I can get something going uh, with that. Um, even if I don't get it done, it's one step closer to being done. Uh, some business ideas and stuff that I've been working on. This is a time to, to research, kind of get an idea of where you want to go. I mean, if you're looking to be self-employed, this is the time to figure out how to make that happen. And so, you know, don't look at this as such a, a, a negative thing. Look at this as an opportunity, as an opportunity to go a different direction in life and, you know, and, and, and own your path, own your destiny, own where you want, where you want to go in life without someone giving you a paycheck. Um, so, and then the final thing, pray for those who are a believer, whatever God you say you serve, that's your business. I serve the heavenly father up above God almighty. And it's important that we pray because even if they go back to, um, so-called business as usual, we still understand that this virus is still out here, okay? And we have loved ones, we have, uh, you know, friends and family, we have children. We don't want to go through it. We don't want to go through the stress of even trying to um, nurse them back into good health. So, so pray, you know, find out what God has for your life, the, you know, what he has planned for you. We're here on this earth for a reason. And if we don't ever talk to him, we'll never find out what our purpose is. A lot of us are unhappy, depressed or whatever, because we haven't really spent any time assessing who we are and what we're called to do. So I don't want to keep battling and everything on this, but I just wanted to take time to encourage you guys to take this opportunity and do some, some, some great things with your time spend time with your kids, uh, start pulling out your dreams and your goals that you've tucked away. Hey, work on your vision board. You know, if you've created a vision board and this is the time, you know, I've talked about it in my other videos, which I'm going to redo because I want to get a little bit more in detailed, uh, a little more detailed about um, the vision boards. But this is when you put the action plan to the vision. See, the vision board only works if you have a plan of how you're going to achieve those things on the board so i don't care what it is if it's going to school when do you plan on going how do you plan on doing it what's your means of uh, paying for it uh how do you plan on repaying it if you're going to get a loan uh when is your projected time to be done with school um what are you going to do after you get done with school 
you know, whatever the case may be, even if it's to buy a new home, how much money are you putting down on that home? And you know, how are you going to obtain the money to put down on the home? If you're trying to create a savings, what's your plan of action for creative savings? If you're like me and your budget's already tight, that means you're going to have to do something extra. So that means how are you going to do that? Whatever the case is, you know, if you want a new car, what's the date of when you want that new car? You know, um, where are you at right now? Or can you afford the new car now? Or do you have to wait till later? Is it a year from now? You know, plan. But this is just a wonderful opportunity to make life great. You know, to get to know your Heavenly Father and to spend time with yourself, your family. You know, just, you know, guys, turn it into something positive. Turn it in. Get outside. Go for a walk. Look at your yard. If your yard needs to be kind of uh, cleaned up, hey. You're in your own personal space. You don't have to worry about, you know, the uh, social distance. Do, do, do those things because this is the opportunity. Don't wait till you go back to work and now you're trying to cram and fit that all in. See, we have been trained to give somebody else our best, but we have not been trained to give ourselves our best. So let's take out this time and give yourself and your family your best. So anyway, that's it. I don't want to stay on here too long and keep babbling you guys, but I just want to encourage you through this time to just go ahead and make it the best time of your life. Make it the best that you can as far as investing in yourself and try to stay encouraged. Don't let depression set in and discourage you. You know, find a purpose find a purpose. And if, 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 if your purpose is blessing someone, giving them a call, encouraging them, hey, do whatever you need to do to stay encouraged and stay motivated to keep pushing forward in life. If that's all I have, guys. I just want to thank you. Um, if you don't mind, hit that uh, subscribe button hit the notification so that you'll know when I upload uh, additional videos, uh, share with your friends and family. And most of all, be blessed. Make today a great day. All right. Love you. Take care.